snap and pop. It's loud! Man, it is cracking. Oh my gosh! Were you an ardent fan of the TV series Ice Road Truckers? If so, then the name Lisa Kelly undoubtedly rings a bell. As the only female driver on the show, Lisa garnered a strong fan base and undeniable popularity. But fame came at a cost, ultimately impacting her personal life and marriage, leading to her sudden hiatus from the show. It just doesn't seem real. I've driven the ice roads, I've driven over lakes, but the scary part now is being by myself. My life is just chaos now. Since the curtain of the show was drawn, there hasn't been much to say about her too. So, where is she now? And what about the other cast members? In this video, we'll find out what happened to 10 cast members of Ice Road Truckers and where they are now. Number 1. Art Burke's Explosive Journey Throughout 11 seasons of Ice Road Truckers, fans witnessed the courageous endeavors of delivery drivers confronting life-altering challenges. From unpredictable weather to treacherous terrain and the constant threat of breaking through icy surfaces, these drivers navigated perilous conditions with remarkable resilience. Yet sometimes the dangers off the ice proved just as formidable, as Art Burke discovered after the show's conclusion. Joining the ranks in Season 7, Burke became a familiar face, appearing in 38 episodes between 2013 and 2017. Known for his humor and colorful language, he garnered a devoted following among fans. Despite a harrowing incident where his truck's front wheels plunged through the ice, Burke's wit remained undimmed. Displaying remarkable composure, he prioritized the safety of his accompanying cameraman amid imminent peril, endearing himself further to viewers. However, off-camera challenges loomed large for Burke. In November 2018, an ill-fated attempt to produce cannabis concentrate known as Shatter ended in disaster. Utilizing liquid butane in the process, a massive explosion ensued, leaving Burke with severe burns covering 40% of his body. Two years later, as legal proceedings unfolded, the full extent of the incident came to light. Facing charges of arson by negligence, Burke acknowledged the grave repercussions of his actions, lamenting the loss of his hard-earned savings earmarked for retirement. Presently residing on Prince Edward Island, Burke's future remains uncertain amidst swirling rumors of a potential Ice Road Truckers revival. Regardless of his television prospects, one can only hope for the best for Art Burke, hoping that his resilience and fortitude have paved the way for a brighter tomorrow. Do you want to know more? Then sit tight and keep watching to know how other casts ended up as well as Lisa Kelly's whereabouts. Number 2. Did Alex Daborski Eventually Die? Alex Daborski, the charismatic Canadian ice road trucker, renowned for his role in ice road truckers, remained a staunch advocate for the trucking industry long after the series concluded in November 2017. With over 40 years of trucking experience under his belt, Daborski chronicled his adventures in his autobiographical book, King of the Road, Tales from a Legendary Ice Road Trucker. Unlike thrill-seekers drawn to the coldest corners of the world, Daborski viewed his icy journeys as lucrative ventures, ferrying tools, machinery, and essentials across the Northwest Territories of Canada. As the only trucker to feature in all 11 seasons of the show, Daborski became a fixture at truck events worldwide, managing his appearances through a dedicated business manager. However, the pandemic curtailed many of his scheduled engagements. While others grappled with COVID-19, Daborski braved the icy roads, completing his winter deliveries in February and March 2021. His last journey concluded in April, wrapping up a successful run despite encountering 10 days of stormy weather. Beyond trucking, Daborski assumed the mantle of safety ambassador for the trucking community, emphasizing its indispensable role in providing basic essentials and critical medical supplies. Tragedy struck in 2019 when his son Andrew died in a house fire, leaving behind a grieving family. Despite the hardships, Daborski's unwavering faith sustained him, accepting life's twists and turns with grace. Number 3. Hugh Rowland's Sexual Health Affected Hugh Rowland, known for navigating perilous roads on the show, faced a serious setback when he was involved in a truck crash in Canada, resulting in severe injuries that impacted his intimate life. Rowland recounted being a passenger in a pickup truck driven by one of the show's producers, Will Morrison, who allegedly drove recklessly, 
leading to the accident where the vehicle veered off the road and collided with trees and bushes. As a result of the crash, Roland sustained permanent injuries, preventing his return to his trucking job. However, the repercussions extended beyond his physical well-being, as his wife lamented the loss of intimacy and companionship due to his injuries. Despite his resilient spirit throughout his tenure on the show from 2007 to 2014, Roland acknowledged the tragic loss of several loved ones to road accidents, though thankfully, no fatalities occurred among ice road truckers on camera. In his memoir, On Thin Ice, Roland reflects on the staggering number of individuals lost to icy conditions, attributing the dangers of driving on ice to lapses in attention or speeding. He emphasizes the importance of listening to the ice, advocating for keeping windows down even in sub-zero temperatures to discern the sounds of cracking and reforming ice. Roland warns of the grave consequences of speeding on ice, where the weight and momentum of a truck can compromise the ice's integrity, urging drivers to heed his advice for safe navigation. Number 4. Former Model Maya Sieber Bloom Maya Sieber Bloom, a former model-turned-truck driver, rose to prominence after her appearance in Season 5 of Ice Road Truckers. But where is she now? Before delving into that, let's reflect on her resolute demeanor and memorable quotes, such as, I love the challenge of driving a truck. It's something I always wanted to do, to take control of something so big and powerful. Maya captivated audiences during Season 5, showcasing her genuine passion for trucking. Her decision to leave the show, albeit sudden, was reportedly to focus on motherhood and raise her young son, despite online speculation and rumors. Despite her absence from social media platforms, Maya's current involvement in the trucking industry remains uncertain. Hailing from a serene upbringing in a small New Jersey farming town, Maya's childhood dream of becoming a truck driver materialized in 2007 after a stint in modeling. Prior to her television debut, she spent three years maneuvering an 18-wheeler truck in the bustling streets of New York City. Her transition to Ice Road Truckers propelled her into a brief yet unforgettable television career. Although her time on the show was brief, her presence resonated with viewers. Should the opportunity arise for another season, many fans would welcome Maya's return to the screen. Do you agree? Let us know in the comment section. Number 5. The Newcomer, Stephanie Custance Also known as Hammerdown Custance, Stephanie emerged as a standout figure on Ice Road Truckers. Born in 1994, Stephanie garnered attention as the youngest female driver on the show, swiftly amassing a dedicated fan base. Her fascination with trucks ignited at a young age and was further influenced by her mother's boyfriend. Upon graduating from high school, she dedicated herself to obtaining a Class 1 heavy goods vehicle driving license. Now a single mother, Stephanie occasionally shares glimpses of her life with her son on social media, maintaining discretion regarding her romantic relationships and the identity of her son's father. Recent reports suggest she is romantically involved with fellow truck driver Tyler Anderson, whom she met during winter road ventures. Despite the predominantly male-dominated ice road trucking industry, ice road truckers featured several female drivers, including Stephanie. Assisted by a friend, Stephanie secured a trucking job at Polar Enterprises, the same company that featured on the show. Despite her limited road experience, the Enterprise's boss recommended her for the show, leading to her debut in the 10th season and subsequent appearance in the 11th season. Stephanie's aptitude for the job became evident as she tackled life-threatening challenges with determination, elevating her to celebrity status. Presently, Stephanie maintains a low profile, with minimal activity on her social media accounts since 2020. Reports indicate her focus on motherhood and her trucking career. In 2021, she ventured into releasing a calendar, yet her Facebook posts continue to revolve around semi-trucks, indicating her enduring commitment to the industry. Number 6. Daryl Ward's Tragic Plane Crash Daryl Ward had been a fixture on the show since 2012, but tragically, in 2016, he lost his life in a plane crash at the age of just 52. The Missoula County Sheriff's Office reported that Ward was piloting a single-engine Cessna 182 when it crashed while approaching Rock Creek Airport. He and his co-pilot were en route to film a pilot for a documentary-style show focusing on the recovery of plane wrecks. 
The crash occurred on the south side shoulder of the eastbound lanes of Interstate 90 near the Rook Creek exit, resulting in a fire. The flight had originated from Dallas, where Ward and his co-pilot had attended the Great American Truck Show. The National Transportation Safety Board initiated an investigation into the incident. Ward had been part of Ice Road Truckers since Season 6 in 2012 and had remained a mainstay on the reality show. His untimely passing was announced by the show's producers in a Facebook post, mentioning that he had completed filming for Season 10 just before his demise and had been informed of another season green-lighted for him. Renowned for his fearlessness on treacherous routes and his compassion for fellow drivers, Ward endeared himself to fans. When not navigating icy roads, he pursued his passion for log hauling and assisting in forest fire control efforts in Montana. His motto, any road, any load, epitomized his adventurous spirit. Ward's philanthropic endeavors, including aiding flood victims and supporting the Special Olympics truck convoy, showcased his generous nature. Daryl Ward's zest for life extended beyond trucking, encompassing outdoor activities like hunting, fishing, camping, and dirt biking. Although his absence is deeply felt, his legacy endures in the hearts of those who worked alongside him and the viewers who admired him from afar. Number 7. The Author Another person we won't fail to mention is Joey Barnes, the author, who made his mark in the seventh season of Ice Road Truckers. While the focus of the season centered around the Winter Road Network originating in Winnipeg, Joey Barnes stole the spotlight. Among the returning drivers were Daborski, Kelly, and Ward, who relocated to Winnipeg for the season, joining Polar Industries. It was also the debut season for Art Burke and Todd Dway, a logging trucker from Washington State, who initially worked for Roland before being featured in Axemen Season 8. Joey Barnes, famously dubbed the King of Obsolete, resides with his daughter Zena in northern Manitoba, far beyond the reach of the winter road's end. Navigating rough terrain with vintage trucks and modified tractors, Joey handles equipment delivery and pickup runs. His daily updates on YouTube's King of Obsolete 47 Inches and TikTok provide insights into his kingdom's daily occurrences. If you are a fan of Joey Barnes, his channel is a must-visit. Yearning for his return, fans eagerly anticipate another season featuring the beloved king. However, uncertainties loom over the possibility of a revival. Nonetheless, hope remains, and fans hold on to the possibility of seeing their favorite characters back on screen. Number 8. Dismissed. Dave Redman's Controversial Exit. While the expulsion of cast members from Ice Road Truckers isn't as commonplace as on shows like Deadliest Catch, where deckhands frequently face on-the-spot removals, it did occur several times throughout the series. One notable incident involved Hugh Rollins, who decided to terminate nearly all of his employees, alleging that they had changed due to perceived fame and the constant presence of cameras. Dave Redman's dismissal during Season 5 stands out. He was let go due to his strained relations with other drivers and poor performance. However, shortly after his departure, Redman came forward with startling claims. In 2011, he asserted that his firing was entirely orchestrated and scripted. According to him, the showrunner scripted him as the antagonist throughout season five, depicting him as a bad team player with a negative attitude to justify his dismissal. Despite the portrayal, Redman insisted that he maintained good relations with fellow drivers and performed his duties effectively. Redman's assertions of scripted dismissals resonated with others on the show, such as Rick Yem, who also contended that cast members were coerced into certain character roles by the History Channel. This raises questions about the authenticity of reality television and prompts viewers to ponder whether the added drama enhances or detracts from the show's appeal. What are your thoughts? Is the scripted nature of the show a negative aspect, or do you appreciate the heightened drama it brings? Now, Lisa Kelly's heartbreaking journey. Lisa Kelly rose to fame as the first female cast member of Ice Road Truckers in 2009. Her daring exploits and fearless attitude behind the wheel captured the hearts of millions of viewers around the world. From navigating treacherous icy roads to braving extreme weather conditions, Lisa's journey on the show was nothing short of legendary. Keep watching as we explore Lisa Kelly's journey on Ice Road Truckers, from her humble beginnings to her rise to fame.
will also investigate the circumstances surrounding her sudden disappearance and uncover the truth behind the rumors and speculations. Additionally, we'll provide updates on Lisa's current whereabouts and activities. Lisa's tenure on Ice Road Truckers was marked by her fearlessness and resilience. She faced numerous challenges, from navigating hazardous roads to enduring extreme weather conditions. Despite the dangers, Lisa consistently delivered, earning respect and admiration from viewers. Lisa quickly became a fan favorite, admired for her courage and tenacity. Her presence on the show contributed to its success, attracting a wider audience and breaking gender stereotypes in the trucking industry. Lisa's journey inspired many and left a lasting impression on fans worldwide. Surpassing all expectations, Lisa not only excelled as a truck driver, but also emerged as one of the show's most cherished personalities. Given her widespread recognition, it's only natural that ardent fans of Ice Road Truckers would be intrigued by her post-2017 endeavors. Throughout her tenure on the show, Lisa amassed a huge following on various social media platforms, showcasing her widespread appeal. She also ventured into a spin-off show called The Deadliest Roads, filmed in the Himalayas, where she fearlessly drove her truck through mountain passes at altitudes exceeding 13,000 feet. Sudden hiatus and return. Although Lisa didn't make her debut until later in the series, she quickly became a fan favorite for her fearless attitude and unwavering determination. Throughout the eight seasons she appeared in, Lisa consistently brought her best to the table, facing every obstacle head-on with unparalleled courage and confidence. However, the demanding nature of her job took its toll, leading her to take a hiatus during season six to focus on self-discovery. Following Lisa Kelly's departure from Ice Road Truckers, rumors swirled about the reasons behind her exit. Some speculated that she left due to personal reasons, while others suggested conflicts with the show's producers. The lack of clarity only fueled curiosity among fans, leading to various theories about what really happened to Lisa. Fans of Ice Road Truckers were deeply invested in Lisa Kelly's journey, making her sudden absence from the show all the more impactful. Despite the passage of time, interest in Lisa's story remained high, with audiences eagerly awaiting any updates or news about her life. Lisa later cited mental and emotional fatigue as the reason. It's true, the filming schedule and constant travel can be draining, Lisa reflected. There were times when my husband and I realized we hardly saw each other, just nine days in six months. Despite the challenges, Lisa returned rejuvenated for season seven, ready to tackle new adventures. Viewers of season seven of Ice Road Truckers eagerly welcomed Kelly's return to the roster, where she resumed her role behind the wheel. Her presence remained consistent throughout the series until its conclusion in season 11. Kelly's contribution amounted to over 80 episodes, comprising more than half of the series. However, the conclusion of the show did not mark the end of Lisa Kelly's journey. Lisa's post-Ice Road Truckers life. During Lisa's tenure on Ice Road Truckers, she operated under Carlisle, primarily navigating Alaska's challenging terrain. However, in a recent interview with Overdrive last year, Lisa, now 41, disclosed her departure from Carlisle and her current affiliation with another logistics provider. Surprisingly, her route remains unchanged, spanning from the Alaskan city of Kenai to Prudhoe Bay, a journey she undertook numerous times on the show. The journey itself is notoriously grueling, covering a 1,500-mile stretch that often consumes 30 to 35 hours per trip for Lisa. Remarkably, she completes these arduous journeys solo, unlike most truckers who may have partners to expedite the trip. These partners ensure uninterrupted progress, eliminating the need for brakes due to driver fatigue. Truckers tackling this route typically have semi-comfortable cabins in their vehicles, providing them with necessary rest breaks when needed. In her interview, Lisa mentioned encountering former castmates like Todd Dewey, a logger, and still crossing paths with Jack Jesse and Phil Crom, both of whom remain with Carlisle. Reflecting on her current job, Lisa remarked on the prolonged snow cover, with certain lakes remaining frozen until April, affecting workload and potentially increasing her earnings as a trucker. However, this also means facing even more challenging conditions and heightened stress levels. Nonetheless, Lisa expressed optimism, noting ongoing government efforts to enhance road safety, 
including the addition of tarmac and paving to certain sections of the route, making it somewhat safer than before. Since her time on Ice Road Truckers, Lisa has undergone significant changes, not only switching employers but also upgrading her truck to a Freightliner Coronado. This model, equipped with the same engine as the Freightliner Cascadia, boasts minimal bodywork, making it ideal for navigating the toughest terrains. While on the show, Lisa was frequently seen in Kenworth vehicles, a common choice among drivers traversing ice roads. Her participation in ice road truckers also brought about notable changes in her life. Post-show, she received invitations to trucking exhibitions across the U.S. and Canada, providing opportunities to engage with her social media followers and fans. Moreover, Lisa's association with the show led to numerous brand endorsements, notably featuring in ads for Chevron's Delo. This exposure allowed her to embark on North American tours, participating in fan events like Diesel Fest and the Great American Truck Show. Her popularity is evident from the rapid sales of merchandise bearing her name on her eBay shop. Outside of work, Lisa enjoys her time in Alaska, tending to her horses, riding, and even practicing mounted archery. Her adoption of minimalism reflects a deliberate choice to embrace the philosophy of less is more, a mindset that likely resonates with her experiences navigating hazardous roads. Perhaps by embracing minimalism, Lisa seeks to cultivate a similar sense of clarity and focus, both on and off the road. Personal tragedies, including the loss of her father, further impacted her career decisions. Despite these challenges, Lisa emphasized the importance of mental health and well-being, underscoring the struggles behind the scenes. Currently, Lisa continues her trucking journey with a different logistics company. She hasn't ruled out a potential return if the show ever resurfaces on television, leaving a lasting impression as the Queen of Ice Roads. What are your thoughts on Lisa Kelly? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Could Lisa Kelly make a comeback to Ice Road Truckers? Many fans speculate about the potential return of Ice Road Truckers to television screens, and if it does, will Lisa Kelly make a comeback? It's no secret that Kelly faced challenges during her time on the History Channel series. In a revealing interview with Heavy Duty Trucking in 2018, she disclosed that she initially felt undervalued, being told she was hired primarily for her appearance and not receiving payment for the first few years. Despite these hurdles, both Kelly and the series have evolved significantly since their inception, and she reflects on its surprising longevity, stating, I don't know how it went so long, I'm just pleasantly surprised. Now that we're updated on Lisa's post-ice road trucker's journey, it prompts an essential question. Will she return to the road? Is there a chance the show might resurface on our screens? According to Lisa, the show isn't officially canceled, but rather on hiatus, a sentiment we tend to agree with. With no significant legal or personnel issues, there's technically no obstacle preventing its return. While the journey has been filled with ups and downs, Kelly remains hopeful that Ice Road Truckers hasn't aired its final episode yet, hinting at a supposed return. In a conversation with Overdrive in 2021, she expressed her desire for the show's return, acknowledging the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on production discussions. Given the significant global changes, including the impact of the 2020 coronavirus pandemic on entertainment projects, the future remains uncertain. While Lisa expresses interest, the final decision lies beyond her control. If a new season materializes and Kelly receives the invitation, it's likely she'll be back in the driver's seat and in front of the cameras once again. The Impact of the Ice Road Trucker Show and Successes Ice Road Truckers, often abbreviated as IRT, was a reality TV series broadcast on History Channel from 2007 to 2017. The show documented the experiences of truck drivers navigating treacherous ice roads across frozen lakes and rivers in the remote regions of Canada and Alaska. Seasons 3 to 6 also showcased Alaska's Dalton Highway, an improved yet still remote route characterized by snow-covered terrain. Season 1 of Ice Road Truckers debuted on Channel 5 in the UK in February-March 2008. It aired on Star and Foxtel in Australia in early 2008 followed by Network 10 from June 18th. In the Netherlands, RTL 7 aired the first season in autumn 2008. In Italy, the series premiered on History Channel on January 7, 2010, under the title Gelai Eroi del Ghiaccio, 
Heroes of the Ice. The second season premiered on June 8, 2008, in the US, followed by releases in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. Season 3 debuted on May 31, 2009 in the US, and later in the UK and other regions. Channel 5 aired Series 3 on January 5, 2010. The series premiered to an audience of 3.4 million viewers, making it the most watched original telecast in the History Channel's 12-year history at that time. Adam Buckman of the New York Post praised the show, describing it as astonishing. Virginia Heffernan of the New York Times remarked on the gripping nature of the series, stating that watching the drivers make their runs evoked feelings of cold, fatigue, and existential recognition. She noted the authenticity of the portrayal, contrasting it with other eco-travel shows. The series aired in the United Kingdom, Australia, and various African countries in 2007. The show's opening sequence depicts a truck falling through the ice, though no real accidents resulting in fatalities have been featured on the show. Reason behind the abrupt end of the show Despite the inherent peril that accompanied the show, Ice Road Truckers enjoyed a successful 11-season run before fans received disheartening news of its absence from television screens. Viewers eagerly anticipated each new episode, and the show's producers consistently delivered, until after the conclusion of season 11. Following the gripping season finale on November 9, 2017, fans eagerly awaited the arrival of season 12 only to be met with disappointment when it failed to materialize. As weeks passed without any updates, frustrated fans turned to social media to voice their concerns, as the show's producers remained silent regarding its renewal. Alex, a pivotal figure in the series, took to Facebook to express his bewilderment, revealing that neither he nor his fellow cast members had been informed of the decision to halt production. In a candid post, he lamented, those Hollywood TV folks are nothing but trouble. You'd think they'd give us a heads up, but nope, looks like the show's history now. While speculation swirled regarding the abrupt end of Ice Road Truckers, it is widely believed that dwindling television ratings and the emergence of competing reality shows, such as Truck Night America in 2018, contributed to its demise. Amidst rumors of cancellation, uncertainty shrouded the fate of Ice Road Truckers. When a concerned fan reached out to the show's producers via the official Facebook page to inquire about its status, the response offered little clarity. Ice Road truckers on history were still uncertain, but stay tuned for updates. With no definitive decision regarding the show's future, fans remain hopeful for a potential renewal. While the official Ice Road truckers Facebook page remains active, its content predominantly comprises promotions for other History Channel programs, leaving fans eagerly anticipating any news of the show's return. Where fans can watch Lisa Kelly now. For those yearning to revisit the show and its standout cast member, there's still hope. Thankfully, fans can relive the excitement of maneuvering oversized loads across icy terrain. Streaming options for Ice Road Truckers abound, offering flexibility for viewers. To start, the Roku channel provides free access to the series with advertisements on your preferred Roku device. Alternatively, subscribers to platforms such as History Vault, Discovery Plus, Amazon Prime, and Disney Plus can also access the show. For those seeking ownership, episodes and seasons of Ice Road Truckers are available for purchase on various platforms including Apple TV, Google Play, Vudu, and Amazon Prime. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.